Hello, welcome to StereoPixel. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss a very unique property of Autodesk Maya. And uh, as a modeler, this is a very important and very powerful tool which uh, can really ease your life while modeling uh, hard surface or or any any sort of uh, 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 complex complex objects like where you want to snap out the objects uh, into into your surfaces or different surfaces now in this scene what I have created is I have created a small bolt sort of thing or not okay and now I want to snap it down exactly on the surface of my object over here now you can see I have already placed few of them and they are perfectly placed on on the face of that object now this is a very uh, I have created some other stuffs also like this you can see they are perfectly aligned with the uh, face now this uh, this is uh, the topic that we are going to cover in this tutorial so let's delete these uh, small pieces okay and just leave this okay fine now first you will uh, create this bolt you can see this and you have a surface let's say this one or maybe this one whatever it is so what I need to do is I need to place them now if we manually try to place them up like this or maybe no, no something like this this is really hard and even you you're not gonna you know end up with the exactly amount of uh, exact amount of alignment or exact alignment with the surface so here here comes Maya's very powerful tool it's called the snap together tool this is a very important and very unique features in Autodesk Maya so <clears throat> let's see how it actually works now it doesn't works on the surface on the on a on an object base it actually works to the face or the component level so how it actually works let's see so first go to modify and say snap together tool now I'm not going to discuss uh, the tool uh, options right now but we'll come uh, a later later so just click on the snap together tool and just click on the surface now you can see there is a blue arrow which come up and next I am going to click on there and now you can see or maybe I want over here whatever it is okay now you can see that these two arrow is actually showing that what will be the source uh, face or the source component and the destination component now I can change them I can I can change and you know repositioning them according to my requirement and the moment we hit enter bingo it's done perfectly okay so once again I'm just uh, uh, going to the snap together tool go to the option box this time and just reset the tool what are these objects uh, these options is very pretty simple one though uh, still I will just uh, you know uh, <coughs> cover those up also now click and let's say click so this is the source this is object hit enter done they are connected so you can see without any any uh, problem we are actually able to you know uh, uh, snap the object on the surface so how this actually working now this is very important one what is exactly happening over here the ob uh, the tool is actually have two options either move and rotate objects or move objects only so either if you go to the move objects and if you click the same things over here over here and if you hit enter now see what is happening the, ha the thing is that that particular face is actually repositioned on that particular face so now if I again press Y select 
this face this is a very interesting one snap to polygon face and this face and hit enter now you can see that particular face is actually uh, snapping with each other so this is a very important uh, aspect that whether I'm going to uh, only position it or I'll just uh, position and rotate also so this is a really uh, important one okay now there is a small problem in this particular tool see so nicely it's showing the path and hit enter and you can see this now uh, the problem part if you select the object right now now you can see there are lots of garbage values are out there which was not there in the initial object so what is actually is happening it's calculating the normals of that particular polygonal face and they are aligning with that particular destination face now this is really really important you need to understand and this is where you might need to work out a little bit uh, uh, smartly okay so press Y again I'm just clicking this clicking that and hit enter and immediately the garbage value now the problem is though my y-axis is aligned properly if I need to you know rotate and all but the problem is these garbage values I don't like this to be honestly speaking so what can I do is I can select and go to modify and go to freeze transformation the moment you hit freeze transformation your alignment values I mean the gizmo is gone now you just can't help it out you cannot rotate or align maybe it's not a, a symmetrical object it may be an arrow it may be an anything you know but you you need to rotate or realign or whatever it is you might need to animate or maybe create a, a controller object or whatever it is but right now you just can't it's not possible so what can you do over here now it's very easy and it's very simple I'll just group it with itself okay now let's see what happened if I use this same tool first click on the surface second click on this surface and hit enter now if we see select the object Wow there is no garbage value at all why where I mean how it actually got aligned the catch is if you hit up arrow to go to the <coughs> upper upper portion of the hierarchy the, the the parent node you'll see the group one node is still there and that group node is actually holding those garbage values and you don't need to worry about this and you can still have this rotation according to your requirement maybe you want a 90 degree rotation okay let's say 45 it's done and still it's aligned with the surface so this is how you can easily you know uh, just duplicate this one oops if you want to you know uh, maintain the uh, the garbage value to the group node then you have to uh, recreate all the objects uh, or the number of objects that you have uh, actually one here I didn't actually take in that uh, gar uh, the group node so the garbage values are exactly on the surface on the surface node uh, the sorry uh, the objects uh, transform node here I have created the uh, group node over here and the group node is actually taking care about all the garbage values over here so you don't need to freeze be careful about this one because if you freeze the poly cylinder or the object itself it doesn't affect it doesn't uh, you know any have any problem but the problem is that oops I have actually whatever this one okay but if you go to the group node and you just uh, freeze these transformation values now we are actually in the same position exactly like the previous one so let it uh, let the group node have those values because we are not going to you know uh, every time click on this and maybe change or change it so let 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 it have all the uh, garbage values and uh, we can rotate or you know uh, 
align or object or maybe move or object whatever it you want you can have within that particular you can see this in the outliner also see this is the group node and under that you can see the poly cylinder so this is a very important uh, tactics that you can actually follow if you really don't want to see this those garbage values and still uh, i mean you want to put it at zero 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 and still you want to align with the surface so this is a very interesting and important tool for the like you know you want to put some bolts on the guns and all or maybe any metallic objects uh, on a series which is a very you know curvature or something like that then you can use this tool so hope you understand and enjoy this thank you very much please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook and twitter thank you very much